Hello and welcome back to Coin Matters channel. What did the Federal Reserve truly say about Fed today, now that Ripple Holder is live? What does this mean for XRP right now? In this video, we'll explain how that works and discuss the current state of the XRP price. And XRP has the potential to do some wild things. At the end of the video, we'll discuss how this question fits into the larger picture of the metaverse. Click the like button if you like these XRP updates. In other words, the FedNow service has officially launched and is ready for use. Given the widespread discussion of FedNow on social media platforms like Twitter and YouTube, I thought it would be helpful to first define the term using the Federal Reserve's official website and only then discuss whether or not it is related to XRP and, if so, how. After bringing on board 41 financial institutions, 15 service providers, and the U.S. Department of Treasury to test the system, the Federal Reserve has certified the FedNow service as ready for deployment by the end of July 2023, as stated here. I have the address here, so we can go straight to the Federal Reserve website. The FedNow service officially launched on the 20th of July. That happened only the other day, now, people and businesses in the United States can use their accounts at U.S. depository institutions to make rapid payments to one another. The service is an open, agnostic platform that works with many different types of rapid payments. At its most basic, the service permits near real-time fund transfers from the account of a sender to the account of a receiver via interbank clearing and settlement. This foundational capability is designed to be available 24-7-365, so financial institutions and their service providers can use it to expand their offerings to customers at any time. This includes features like payment integrity, data security, and liquidity management. This pretty well sums up what the Fed is presently, and I can see how it would be an improvement to the way fiat is exchanged between banks and clients 24-7 all year round. And, you know, logically, that's a good thing, in my opinion. It's frustrating that it takes days, or at least business days, to transfer funds from a bank account, but it looks like the Fed is working on a solution. As a result, the current system of fiat currency payments will be altered. However, this does nothing to address fiat's fundamental issue. We'll be talking about the ever-increasing growth of the fiat money supply that you can see right here. On the other hand, let's take a look at the organizations that have adopted this and see who's on the list. On the right, you can see the service providers, and on the left, we can see some of the major players, such as the BMA Mellon Bank, JP Morgan Chase, and Wells Fargo, among others. Some major financial institutions are apparently testing this out now. There is no mention of XRP Ripple in either this post or on the Federal Reserve's website, yet you also have some service providers right here. Nonetheless, this in no way minimizes the value that Ripple and XRP bring to the market today. So it's something the U.S. Federal Reserve wants to have complete control over. They claim it has no bearing on central banking or virtual currencies, but I'd like to add the proviso that we'll soon find out whether or not the Federal Reserve actually does have any sort of relationship with these things in the future. That, at least, is how I interpret the current market definition of Fed. That's about all there is to know about the Fed at the moment. So, it's a step up for the fiat banking system, but, as I mentioned before, it doesn't boost the value of fiat currency. Here, and 32 trillion national debt is the unending mint function for the United States government's debt. Where exactly does everyone's hard-earned cash go? Where does it end up? Who can say? It's not as obvious as you may think. Look at this tweet, I think. There's a case to be made that XRP Ripple can help fix the many flaws plaguing the United States fiat currency system. Only recently have 22 other countries applied to join the BRICS group. Here you can see the BRICS leaders, Russia, China, South Africa, India, and Brazil, and 22 more countries that are interested in joining the BRICS. And that could pose a problem for the American monetary system. So if these groups band together and begin dealing with one another, they could eventually undermine the US dollar's status as the world's reserve currency. This relationship has the potential to be quite intriguing. Keep an eye on the BRICS countries as they ascend to power. That's a danger you should keep an eye out for. 
The current value of XRP is something else I wish to discuss. So far, we have been able to maintain a rather stable position at the 80 cent mark. As you can see, the price of XRP has experienced a significant increase over the past 14 days. You have a minor retracement with the XRP price, but am I worried about that? And if we do look at some of these cryptocurrencies, the Bitcoin price has been, you know, retracing slightly in the last 24 hours, and a Bitcoin's going down, that's pulling down the rest of the markets. Not in the long run, and it's something guys should keep an eye on too. This is a fascinating dynamic, to say the least. I've noticed a robust relationship between Ripple and XRP. This is a verse from the future, by the way. In addition, they have successfully raised $54 million with contributions from Ripple to scale AI and metaverse technology. This is really cool, you guys. And if they start investing in the metaverse, which is basically what they're doing right now, that may be a bullish element for XRP and Ripple. This is a push from the metaverse. Do not underestimate the I don't think meta versus virtual reality is without merit. In my opinion, this will be a very important industry over the next decade. And XRP Ripple. You know, are they investing wise money into this to kind of get a return on capital in the future? And it says right here, it will use the funds for research and development as well as to further its gaming-focused blockchain called the Root Network, which is a theory and virtual machine compatible and offers and XRP Ledger Integration Root Network supports the use of XRP and its NFTs. The company also plans to develop more blockchain games in the future. This is really cool, you guys. Could XRP be used in a variety of ways? Next up, he does place a lot of emphasis on the XRP ledger. However, there is the question of whether or not this focus may expand to include the metaverse. Keep in mind that cryptos can change, adapt, and acquire new capabilities over time. That's simply a thought to keep in mind when you think about the future of XRP and how that possibility may or may not affect the currency. And that, gentlemen, is a major development in the Fed's announcement of the current price of XRP. Leave a comment if you like these XRP updates, and we'll keep doing them on the channel when I have time. Otherwise, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe my channel. See you later. Bye.